Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie. I'm so glad to be here with you today. This month, we're talking about love. Specifically, we're talking about God's love, which we can read about in the Bible. God has been showing love to people all throughout history. In fact, you might say God's story is a love story for the ages. Let's sing and worship together as we get started.
job singing today. It's so great to be here with you as we journey through God's big story in the Bible. God's story really is a love story for the ages. And it all began when God created the world. In the very beginning, there was nothing, no trees, no mountains, no stars, nothing, nothing except God. Then God created the world out of love. God began by creating light. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good. He separated the light from the darkness. Next, God separated the waters, and God made the sky. We're talking about huge oceans with massive amounts of water. Next, God created dry ground. God created plants and trees with different kinds of fruits growing on them. And imagine this, God created the sun and the moon and the stars. God was creating amazing, amazing things, and it was about to get even better. God created fish and birds. He created animals that live on the land. God made every kind of animal, creature, or bug you can think of. When I count to three, I want each of you to yell the name of one animal. Ready? One, two, three. Wow, that's a lot of animals. That's a lot of creatures and bugs, and God made all of them. Then God made the most amazing creation of all. Go ahead and tell me what you think he created next. You're right, he created you, a person. You see, after God made all the animals, God made people. God made a man, Adam. He put Adam in the garden to farm the land and take care of it. God also brought all the animals to Adam so that Adam could name them. It's pretty cool to imagine. But Adam didn't have a helper that was right for him. So God created Adam to fall into a deep sleep. While Adam was sleeping, God created a woman named Eve. Now listen to God's words that are recorded in the first chapter of Genesis. God said, let us make human beings so that they are like us. Let them rule over the fish in the seas and the birds in the sky. Let them rule over the livestock and all the wild animals. And let them rule over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them to be like himself. He created them male and female. God told Adam and Eve to have children and take care of the earth, including all the animals that lived on the land. And listen to this part again. God created human beings in his own likeness. You see, Adam and Eve were made in the image of God. They were made to reflect what God is like. Everything God had made was very, very good. God had created everything we know and everything we see out of love. Finally, after God had made the whole world, animals and people, God rested. God created everything in this amazing world out of love. God made people to show love. Remember our bottom line today. God created human beings in his own likeness. Adam and Eve were made in the image of God. They were made to show God's love by taking care of each other and by taking care of the world God had created. In fact, all of us today are made in the image of God. We are made to reflect what God is like for the whole world to see. We are made to share God's love with the world. We are made to take care of each other, and that's what we need to remember today. God made each of us to take care of each other. Let's pray together. God, thank you so much for the amazing things you created. Thank you so much for making us in your image. It's cool to know that we can show the world what you're like with the way we show love each day. Please show us how we can do that, God. Please help us care for each other the way you care for us. We love you, and we pray these things in your name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today as we continue our story on love. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye now.